Hello friends, welcome to the last episode from the series Veliko Trnovo and Beyond. I've been so busy exploring Veliko Trnovo and its surroundings as well as the surroundings of Gabrovo that I didn't have enough time to focus on Gabrovo itself but I still want to share with you some of the highlights of this amazing city. Let's go! Gabrovo, a town in central northern Bulgaria, lies at the foot of the Balkan Mountains and along the Yantra River. It has a population of above 65,000 people and is famous for its humor and satire, as well as its Bulgarian national revival architecture. In this video, I will give you an overview of the town as I won't have time to visit any museums, but I hope you will enjoy exploring the streets with me. Gabrovo is the longest town in Bulgaria, stretching over 25 kilometers along the Yantra River, but only one kilometer wide at some points. This town is also known as the town of the bridges and the oldest bridge here was built in 1749. It's called the Yoke and it symbolizes the Bulgarian struggle for freedom during the Ottoman invasion. On one side you can see a statue of a naked man and a naked woman on the other side. They are both wrapped in chains and represent the oppression and slavery of the Bulgarian people. Further down there is another bridge with a statue of a lion and in the middle of the river there is a sculpture of Racho Kovacha, the legendary founder of Gabrovo and the symbol of the strong spirit of the local people. Let's go to the farmer's market of Gabrovo where you can find a variety of local products such as vegetables, fruits, cheese, yogurt, honey and some delicacies. I mean, Да. 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 От оливавите? От оливавите, да. Добре. After doing some shopping at the market, we are heading to explore the old quarter of Gabrovo, where you can find many examples of the Bulgarian revival architecture. In the old quarter of Gabrovo, you can visit the ethnographic museum Dechkov's house and you can also go to Stranoprijemnicata, a traditional restaurant where you can delve into the local cuisine.
The monument Mother and Child in Gabrovo is a sculpture that depicts a woman holding a baby in her arms. It's created in 1979 by Ivan Rusev. The Aprilov National High School is among the landmarks of the city because it was founded in 1835 and is the first secular school in Bulgaria. The last place I want to show you is the Museum of Humor in Gabrovo. It was founded in 1972 and it showcases the comic art and traditions of Gabrovo and the world. Here you can see and enjoy various forms of humor such as cartoons, paintings, sculptures and jokes. The people from Gabrovo are famous for being stingy. Well, stingy maybe is not the right word, but they are known for it and they often joke with this uh, characteristic of being stingy. Uh, also, the cat is like a symbol of the city, especially a cat with a um, chopped tail. The locals joke that they cut the tails of their cats to prevent heat loss when they go in and out of the door. This shows the cleverness and thriftiness of the people from Gabrovo. This statue illustrates Crafty Peter, a character from the Bulgarian folklore. My time in Gabrovo is up. I'm really happy because um, I uh, spent some time with my friend and we met with this friend in Dublin. We don't get to see each other very often. So I've had um, one night in Veliko Trnovo. I went to, Tra to Trjavna. I spent two nights in Gabrovo. Maybe next time I wouldn't try to do so many things in such a short time. But I'm glad that I was able to film all these videos for you guys. I hope you have liked this series and I hope there will be more of them in the future.